you know, when you uh, do really cool in sports, that's yep. what I'm yep. going to do on this recording uh-huh. right now. All right. You keep, yep, keep talking. Like, you know, when you get a three-pointer? <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Sleep the Pride Podcast, episode 73. We're 73 yeah, and deep yeah. at this point. Astrosis is yeah. a filthy weed smoker, pothead, up, terrible what? person now, smoking all the Game. devil's lettuce, guys. Vape nation. This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay. We've, for, for since, I mean, for five Weird. years. Since uh, since 2017, when we started this podcast and never miss an episode, we always took a hard stance against yeah, we've been, against we've been drugs and alcohol. Absolutely. Now, especially the devil's lettuce. Of course. And you know Marijuana. why? <laughs> Do you know why we're so against why it? Shall I, why is that? Why, why, Mika? Because to quote <laughs> Frank Ocean's mom, weed makes you stupid, lazy, sluggish, and unconcerned. Wow. Jesus. Stupid, lazy, oh sluggish, and unconcerned. I'm starting to rethink things. In the words of Frank Ocean, boy toy, ride me like a Uber. Boy toy, suck me like a Hoover. Like Ask was this, you just, uh, you smoked weed for like the first time? What happened? I did. I did. I went I went camping. I don't know if you guys have ever been camping. Oh, but like, here we go. Yeah, look, man, I went camping, all right? I like yeah. to go camping with my friends. Yeah! One time. And, uh, you know, we were pretty far away from home, and I decided to try. Oh, like the Spider Man movie. First time. Uh, I guess, yeah, sort of. With more weed, though. So, how far uh, away from home were you? Because in Spider Man, they were in Europe, but I'm guessing you weren't in Europe. You were not. I'm, I'm scared of giving a, you know, an amount of miles. Someone's going to triangulate me. Okay. Can, can you give us, like, a ballpark if that's, if you're comfortable uh, with that? 3,000 light years. Okay. So, still within this galaxy, but definitely in another. Yeah, it was on. It was system. on Earth. Okay. Anyway, have you guys ever been to like a weed store? No, no, no. It's actually like terrifying in there. It's like a way I like have. A, you it's, have? Yeah, it's weird. It's it's really weird. There's like a bunch it's of like shit an, in there. Yeah, it's like an Apple store except like <laughs> more security. There's like there's like four like old guys outside like super buff like protecting the store, and then when you get in, you got to like sign paperwork. Like it's. It's intense, and then you get into the actual place, they got, like, 30 cameras on you, and they, they like, coerce you into buying shit, and I so I bought these edibles for, like, I don't even, God knows how much, like, $60. Ooh. What? It was really expensive for, like, these little gummies that tasted like shit, and, um, yeah, like, we camped for, like, three days, and I had one every day. Sometimes multiple a day. Oh, no, oh, dude. Oh, my God. You were getting and, high every day? <laughs> I was getting high every day, and I kid you not, I kept going. This edible ain't shit because wow. I was eating them and I, I yeah and they weren't uh, affecting me. Classic like two, rookie mistake. Wait, so it, you didn't get high? No, for like two days I didn't feel anything. Like all my friends were like freaking out and like oh, having freaking a out, crazy man. time. Yeah, and I was just sitting there like this. This is boring. But then the last night I had the same edible I had been having the whole weekend, and it it actually like broke me down. What? Like zero like zero to one hundred. I had like a complete <laughs> nervous breakdown. It was actually you had horrifying. a you had a panic attack. <laughs> yeah, I had like a panic attack. Oh, I start. Yeah, it was actually genuinely maybe one of the worst experiences of my life. Fuck. Holy shit. Wait, so yeah, you I, were like, fine the first two days? You didn't feel yeah, much at all? It and didn't then, affect me at and all. And then the third then, day, the same amount. The same amount. I had been using five milligrams every single time. That's and bizarre. The, I, I have no maybe that that one was laced, you know, I don't know. This what edible happened? ain't shit. I was literally going the whole weekend like this edible ain't <laughs> shit to my friends. And then I had the worst experience by far of any of my friends on the last night. Well, what what happened? Were you like were you like sweating? Were you crying? Um well I think like I'm scared of people generally. So uh-huh. I just thought all my friends were trying to kill me. Oh so, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. I was like I was like running away. <laughs> I like ran to the tent. I was hiding in there. I kept like peeking in the tent, like watching every. Was it like genuine fear? It was genuine fear, and I like could not ground myself. Like I couldn't find any logic to ground myself on. Long story short, I'm not doing weed again. I quit. I'm really sorry that happened, Astro. I'm back on the straight edge. That sounds really like actually like terrifying. Yeah, but it was also pretty funny. (laughs) It doesn't sound like it was funny at all. (laughs) Yeah, actually. 
I mean, the next morning we got McDonald's. It tasted really good. Sounds like that was the worst night of your life. Yeah, Not, <laughs> nothing <laughs> funny. They're laughable about it. You described it, it to me earlier, and I was like, okay, so it was like pretty bad. But now I'm like fully grasping the extent to truly how like horrible this experience was, and like I don't, I can't find the humor in it to be honest. No, it was, Trapped it was... in a fucking forest with, <laughs> it was fully believing dark. that your friends were gonna go, come kill you. <laughs> It was like midnight, dark, and like I couldn't see anything. What else were you thinking about aside from your friends trying to kill you? There was uh, there was a lot of mosquitoes like biting me, so uh-huh. I kept thinking that my legs were like infinitely bleeding. Oh, so oh. I kept, I kept, <laughs> I kept like, like rubbing my legs, and Dude, I, it, it was probably just sweat, but it felt like blood. <laughs> it, it's it's like that meme where it's like there's bugs under your skin. Yeah, there were bugs oh, under my skin. My God. friends were trying to kill me. There was one good thing. It felt like I had like. Marvel cinematic vision. Like everything was like widescreen in a movie theater. That was Whoa. Cool. Yeah. Other than that though. Alright, that's fucking sick. Yeah, it was actually kind of awesome. Guys, I think we're all gonna have to do edibles after hearing that. <laughs> that's actually terrifying though. Like I, no, I was, would not really uh, I would not want that to happen to me at all. Even if I could get an awesome podcast story out of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean I yeah, that's I, why I did it for the pod. Mm. For the, do it for the pod. Honestly, like, we should put ourselves in more dangerous situations and just like <laughs> yeah, crazy down, things actually. just to make entertaining <laughs> stories for the pod. We should set yeah. some Patreon goals. Like if we get 2,000 patrons, we'll all get uh, exceedingly high and have panic attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I've Dude, heard... can you imagine a podcast of all, all of us just breaking down, like crying and like scared of each other? Well, you I've hear that, patrons? A, uh, it's never happened to me. Like I've never had yeah. a, a bad experience while high. I, I'm i sorry if, if I'm making you jealous, but... Uh... No, Wait, that's, wait, that's wait you, you've smoked pot too? I, I have, yeah. I've oh smoked my a little God. bit of pot. Flat, when did you break our vow? I'm sorry. I'm also. Uh, I also lay a shit ton of pipe and smoke, smoke a uh, crack and uh, drink and booze. Schlatt, this is well, not right? going to get you into heaven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. No, you're right. Um, Astro, I I heard from like people who talk about this sort of thing that uh, you're supposed to wait. Like, if the ed- if you're not feeling the edible, you have to wait because. <laughs> It just takes longer to digest, you know, versus like smoking. It's like pretty immediate, but but if it's yeah, because like- there's another thing that added on to this. I okay. didn't have to shit like the entire time I was camping. Did you have to pee? So maybe, yeah, a lot. I mean, I have to pee. I have like a chihuahua bladder, but shitting like never happened. So maybe my body processes things really slowly, and just all the edibles from the whole weekend just all hit at once. You know, maybe that happened. Maybe. I mean, because it could be you have, like, a slow metabolism or something. Maybe. Like, that that sounds pretty wild. It was pretty funny when I went to the weed store, because, like, uh, I, w- I walked up and, like, ordered my edibles, and everyone behind me, like, there was this guy behind me, he was like, oh, he knows what he's getting. Oh, <laughs> shit. As if I was, like, a hardened <laughs> veteran. <laughs> my whole life, I've gone, like, everyone just thinks I do a shit ton of drugs. Because, I mean, I look like I do a shit ton of drugs. Was there a reason that you decided to go with the edibles instead of, you know, like a spliff or a blunt (laughs) or a joint or a... A spliff. Honestly, well, part of it was because we were camping in a public area. Didn't want people to smell it and rat on us. But also, like, the smell... I don't like the smell. It smells kind of gross. It does. It smells like a skunk. It smells like a stinky skunk. A little bit of a stinky skunk, yes. Figured I'd try it out. Never and now you again. now you'll never do it again. <laughs> yeah, but imagine much. if you didn't have to pee. Like if smoking weed or like eating an edible made you not want to pee, like with poop. Like imagine how awesome that would be. Why would I might even awesome? do it honestly? Why would, why why, would that, yeah, why would that why? be good? Yeah. Because Your I body it, needs to relieve the pee. Yeah, but like you you know what Astro, surely you know what it's like to pee all the time and how annoying it is. <laughs> You're comfortable in bed and you have to get up and piss, but it's like, oh, I don't want to, but it hurts. <laughs> it hurt. Wait, it hurts. Yeah, well, it never hurts. I don't think it's supposed uh, to hurt. You have like you just have a an edible, and you just have complete continence. Like you don't have to <laughs> shit or piss the rest of your life. Exactly. God, I'd be I'd be high all the time. I would be I would be fucking. <laughs> I hate shitting and pissing. I Turn into a hate big it. sphere. It's all the yeah. piss and shit locked in your body. I can kind of relate to what you're saying about like the stores, though, because I don't know if it's similar, but uh, I have a friend who vapes. 
So this one time I, I followed him into a vape store and dude, it was like being on a UFO. Like it was so bright. My, yeah. uh, my, I couldn't see, dude. My eyes were like blinded. It was like just fluorescent white light flooding the entire area. I was like, please, I can't take this. Um, yeah, pretty. Awful I was, I was going to say, Astro, I heard the first two days, you're talking about like the first two days, you didn't feel anything. I was like, yeah. oh, fuck, what if you went into just like a hemp store? And it was just a complete scam because you'll walk around New York City and you'll see those fucking weed trucks, weed in air quotes, because there is no weed whatsoever. There's no active ingredient that gets you high in it. And it just just preys off of uh, off of tourists and shit who are like, oh, I'm in New York City. I got to get high on the weed truck. And there's just (laughs) nothing in it that actually gets you high. And it's like (laughs) they just upsell you on the stupidest shit. Yeah. That would have sucked. That would have sucked. But you you got the full experience, so I'm happy for you, man. <laughs> you know, it I... turns out it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Can, we, can we get a round of applause for Ash Resist? Thank you. Yes. Yes. You know, Astro- camping was fun. Camping was fun. You could you could have been a little stoner head. You could have been a little weed a weed little weed head. Yeah, they say me. They say people that are are naturally high get affected by it more. So you know, maybe. I'm oh, just shit. naturally What the high. fuck does You're that high mean, naturally life? high? <laughs> I'm, I'm high on life. life. I'm high on life. What the fuck are you talking I'm about? High. People that are naturally high? high? <laughs> I'm just naturally high, man. Do you guys have any cool uh, camping experiences, you know, talking about being high on life? No. Sometimes camping... Oh, okay. <laughs> I went camping once and it fucking sucked. Really? What? Yeah, I was in Australia in the middle of nowhere. Oh Why my did you God. camp are in you Australia serious? where you're like three feet from the sun and everything wants to kill you? That's where God put all of the worst creatures. That's where I went <laughs> camping one time. And, uh, Are you being serious? Yes. The fun thing about Australia is it's very hot during the day. And then uh, at night, the it, it, so it, the opposite happens. It gets very cold. Oh. Yeah. And so I woke up um, shivering inside <laughs> of a cold U-Haul truck. Hey, well, Wait, you, what? you were camping in what? inside of a truck. Yeah, I thought the truck would retain heat uh, better than a tent would. So I was the one who decided to sleep in the truck and I woke up shivering and then I had to uh crawl up the hill to the ha- to a house where all the rich people were because I you know, like I was a I was just a fucking idiot at the time who had no subs, so I didn't get the house that was warm with the fire. <laughs> What so I, I I walked from the U-Haul to the house and I just like laid on top of the pile of people that were in there to stay warm. The, and then the anything pile. Used, the pile, the yeah, pile. Yeah, there was a pile of people because everyone wanted the warmth of the house. Uh-huh. Um, and then a couple minutes later, anything for views walked into the house and uh, he showed me his. Oh, are you like joking or did? No. So um, <laughs> sounds about right. That uh, so that happened. <laughs> Couldn't you, you know, like maybe seek legal counsel for something like that, or you know, what do you mean? I, I mean, you know, it's just when someone usually does something like that to you, it's not you're not really supposed uh, to. Dude, do I asked him to. Oh, oh, oh okay. So Schlatt, you were talking about camping. What about it? You were talking about that's my whole story. That's oh, so yeah. nothing. Why are you in a you, you actually like rented a U haul? Like, just well, that's how we that's or? how we drove out there. Oh, we drove okay. out to the okay. wilderness, yeah, and then we didn't even really build tents correctly, and they were all <laughs> shitty. And I was like, well, it's probably gonna be warmer in the truck. It was not warmer in the truck. I woke up, and it was uh, it was like oh, fucking 40 degrees in there, probably. I don't know. Oh man, it was terrible, Damn. it was really yeah. bad. When I was a kid in daycare, I went camping, and uh, so we had like a group of friends. We were kind of like the uh, stand by me kids, you know, a little rough and tumble, rough around the edges. Mm. Anyways, we were swimming in a lake, and one of the friends starts throwing rocks at us, like trying to hit us in the head with these rocks. What the hell? Yeah, no, we uh, the game was we had to dodge the rocks, <laughs> or, we, or we would get concussions and like drown at the bottom of this lake, right? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> That's actually game, hilarious. Yeah, uh, no, it was a good time. Like, Mika, I'm not how how big were they? Were they like pebbles or were they like giant rocks? Well, they were like kid fist size. 
Oh, that's pretty pretty big. Yeah, they were they were substantial rocks. Like they they could kill someone. To be fair, if they hit you awesome. in the head and that you rocks, dude. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Anyways, so this um. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you. We're here all night. That was a pretty good one, Panda. Donate to the Patreon. That was pretty good. No, so earlier that day I was at a water slide park and uh, one of the camp counselors taught me how to say cheese is rice instead of saying instead of saying Jesus Christ because you know we were in we were in Bible country so we couldn't really uh couldn't really say Jesus sorry, Christ. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. No, it's okay. Mika, I, I I want to apologize. I've been interrupting like a bad guy. All, all it's okay. I, it, I apologize. No, I just cool. when the laugh starts coming, I just can't. You it's, know, it's I can't. Stop. Yeah, it's okay. I it's mean, like there's a train. Some, you know, I'll some, hold him down. I'll hold him down. Yeah, no, you you can keep laughing. It's it's no problem. I just want to apologize if it happens. You know, yeah, it's, it's okay. not it's not my intention to interrupt. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Just it's just fine. just sit down. Just let him talk. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You can laugh if you want to. I, it's you know. Anyways, so um, this rock comes and almost hits me in the head. So I yell, "Cheese is rice," and um, just like, <laughs> oh, God, I'm getting the duct tape. I'm getting the duct tape. I'll duct, I'll duct tape them down, Mika. I'll duct tape them down. Uh, Sit down. I'll stop. I'll stop. Sit. No, it's okay. I'll stop. It's, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> stop no, stop it. it. I'll stop. No, it's it's that's oh, fine. It's fine. Keep God. laughing. Wait, Please. a rock hit your head? No, I'm saying so. I I almost dodged the rock and I yelled, "Don't say the word is again. rice!" No, because I was so close to getting knocked. <laughs> oh, God damn. Jesus Stop right. saying oh. Jesus Christ at, at the bottom of the lake. No, <laughs> no, it's not Stop. Jesus. It's Stop not Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. It's Jesus, Jesus is Christ. rice. Just stop. Jesus okay. rice. Oh. Jesus rice. Anyways, um. So then this like l- quite large man and you know we're in Bible country he he yells up and he says hey um you know uh watch what you're saying that's blasphemy or something like that um don't take the lord's name in vain uh my children are playing around here you could kill someone with those rocks i mean to be fair you made a point but anyways then he said uh where are your parents i'd like to talk to them if you have any <laughs> um, what <laughs> you that's have kind any? Of a- a yeah, subtle it, dig. Yeah. Well, because you since, have any you feral was, rat. Yeah. Well, because I was taking the Lord's name in vain, and he was yeah. not happy about that. He he went on a tirade about this being like a good Christian area, and <laughs> um, yeah. So, anyways, I got in trouble after that with the other camp counselors. He was like, "Hey, you can't be saying that." I was like, "All I said was cheese is rice," and he was like, no, "Stop I'm- being a smartass." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> so Whoa. that's it. That's my story. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we've come full circle. Oh, you know, Mika, oh, I have Christ. a story too. Go Ooh. for it. So one time I had a giant rock and I saw a person and I just started. Wow. Oh my. That's um, uh that's um, actually terrifying. <laughs> I but like, I, I saw I saw I saw the uh-huh. when he was <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> oh. oh, so it's like a felony <clears throat> type <of> situation. <laughs> Mika, I said I said it was you that did it. What? You were the one who did it, Mika. Oh. Wait, what? You Oh. Huh? Mika, you did? No, I... Well, Mika, it says in the police report that Mika Sakis... <laughs> it got to the, the police? Po- <laughs> the police refers to him as his YouTube name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, imagine you're getting pulled over, like you're just driving on the side of the street. They they pull you up, you're like, hmm, yes, ast resist. Uh, you were going 60 in a 30 zone. What do you have Why to say Why would they know yourself? my YouTube name right away? <laughs> Maybe they're, they're a fan. Red. Maybe maybe they know your OnlyFans. <laughs> they're just yeah. a big fan. Actually, yeah, there's probably a cop that subs to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Dude, what okay, how would you feel if like for whatever reason, I don't know, you got you had to go to the station, like I don't know, your bike gets stolen, you're like, hey, uh, officer, someone stole my bike, and they're like, Don't I know you? <laughs> like you Where do I know that face from? 
Your body looks really familiar. Wait, <laughs> that your is body. a really weird thing to say to your body. body. <laughs> your body looks really familiar. <laughs> I recognize your body. <laughs> That's actually what I say to Schlatt all the time. Oh. Well, uh, is it really like, well, because Ed Sheeran made that whole song about like, I'm in love with the shape of you. It's a Push creepy song. like a magnet. Yeah, I was going to, I was about to say that. His songs are actually like very creepy because then you like look at his face and then you look back at the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Harry Styles could make that song and no one would bat an yeah, eye. Yeah, it'd be yeah. fucking hot as hell. The second yeah, an average looking that? Joe does it, it's it's all <laughs> weird. He, he's not. You know why? That. It's probably because he's a ginger. Oh <laughs> yeah, true. So um <sighs> um. <clears throat> I want yeah. to specify, I love all my orange-haired friends. Okay, uh, moving on. We're moving on, Panda. Like, my cat? If my cat had orange hair, I would love my cat. Panda, it's it's fine. We're... Mika, if you had orange hair, I might even love you more. What? Okay, okay. now okay. it's getting... That's... We don't... <laughs> I would probably just run my fingers down your hair. Oh, okay. okay it's, really... it's gone. Even if it was too. greasy. Strange I'm fine of that. Um, Strange. There's no. just no <laughs> reason. I would you smell it? your it's hair. To, okay. To this is really. This. We shouldn't be. Yeah. Greasy? Yeah. Well, it happens sometimes. That's... Okay. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, did you guys uh, tune into the new Lord of the Rings show? Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, airing on Amazon Prime Video? No. No. Okay. No. Why not? Because I'm not going to lie to you, Mika. Um,. <laughs> I've never watched The Lord of the Rings, and what? I have no intention to. Huh? And also, every time I open up the Amazon app now, the fucking name of the show just pops up for five seconds before it fades into the actual app. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> no, that's not, not a not, hell yeah. Yeah, it's not hell yeah. That's not a hell yeah. I open the app, and, and I see a black screen with Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, and it oh, just yeah. fades. It, it's just a black screen with the name of the show. That I I've never watched a show on Amazon. Mm. I've never done it, and I yeah. I don't have any intent. I was going there to buy some fucking batteries, <laughs> and I'm I have to look at Lord of the Rings for five seconds. I pay ninety dollars a year. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, very different from the oh Lord God. of the Rings trilogy. Okay, you're not taking this seriously, man. Like this is a really big deal for Schlatt, and like you know that everybody here hates Lord of the Rings. Like we specifically told you before the podcast not to talk about Lord of the Rings because you always go on a tangent about it. Okay, and now um, here we are. So I'm, I'll be right back. Uh, look, oh, what you, uh, look what you did. Well, no, it's he has okay. to walk out now. No, it's fine. He'll find his way back because not all those who wander are lost. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's fine. Like all's well that ends better. To be honest. Shut the fuck up. All's well that ends better. Uh, look, I'm getting really judgy vibes from you right now, and I just want to say, deeds will not be less valiant because they are unpraised. Okay? I'll tell you why. I saw Lord Dude, of the is Rings. is this Elden Ring? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you cheating? That wasn't even a Lord of the Rings reference? That was <laughs> Elden Ring? No, that was a Lord of the Rings quote. That sounds like it something was, they'd write. Yeah, it was actually it. spoken by Aragorn. That sounds like something that'd be written on the floor in Elden Ring before you fight a boss. Yeah, it's pretty dope, right? One, one well, time my friend... I do like Elden oh. Ring. One time my friend invited me over for a Lord of the Rings watch party because I had never seen it before. He was really excited to show me the whole movie, like all the movies. We we're going to watch them all in a row. And it sounds like, about, awful. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After about like the, you know, towards the end of the first one, we got some pizza. I ate the pizza and I was like, you know, I think I'm going to go home. Because uh, it was so lame. really, it was really boring. <laughs> that is really, really like upsetting to hear. You know, I, I actually, um, when I was a kid and up until like my like late teenage years, I had this tradition where my mom and I, we marathoned Lord of the Rings on New Year's Eve. Oh, my, how long did it take? Like 12 hours? Something like that. Yeah, we had to start early. Oh my early. God. Yeah, so I've probably seen those movies like 10, 12 times. You could like learn a new skill. A language. Yeah. Yeah, and then you had to watch the behind the scenes and the bloopers. No, I never, I never did that. But then you had to watch the Sam and Nico Carter Digital VFX artist react. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you had to watch all the Hobbits, right? All the Hobbits. I actually didn't particularly care for the Hobbit movies. Okay. 
I thought they were kind of uh, not so and the great. hobbits are just stupid. Yeah, that's the thing. All of the all of the creatures and characters are just lame. It's just like a dwarf. It's like Torbjorn from Overwatch. Okay, well the creatures are. aren't lame. You don't need to go there. Mika, like the, the elf hobbits. More... Hobbits are like an STD, Mika. <laughs> the hobbits. I got a case of the hobbits. <laughs> These hobbits are really <laughs> fucking itchy, man. Imagine scratching. <laughs> like imagine scratching your little hobbit. Ugh. <laughs> you guys are haters. You guys are haters. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't, uh, for the time will soon come when hobbits will shape the fortunes of all. They're really important people, creatures. Is Dumbledore in that one? That guy's kind of cool. No, Dumbledore is not in there. No, that's Harry Potter. You're thinking of Gandalf. Okay, is Dobby in there? Dobby is not in there. You're thinking of Gollum. Oh, Gollum. Yeah, why is there so many similarities? Like, I always... They occupy the same headspace in my brain. Maybe uh, that's why I don't like it, because I hated Harry Potter as a kid. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Yeah. I read, like, the Sorcerer's Stone in, like, fourth grade, and I was like, this shit sucks. Yeah, Harry and Potter And then I read Aragon. Kind of ruined. Oh, Aragon was a banger. Aragon was a little better. Hey, uh, we have a Patreon, everybody. If you'd like to listen to this train wreck for another 30 (laughs) minutes, then uh, click on through to patreon.com slash sleep deprived and and pay $5 a month to support us uh, and watch more content like this. Yeah. And we're also on Spotify and uh, Apple. uh, Oh, true. We totally forgot to say that. We totally forgot. We totally forgot to say. But hey, don't worry. I got us. We'll we'll figure that out. We'll We'll figure it out. We'll cross that bridge when we 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 get there. In the meantime, guys, uh, we have some messages, I think, for the patrons that pay us a lot of money that they want us to say. Way Do we have much. those? Do we have those Thank messages you, today? Yeah, We're we probably going to retire it eventually. Yeah. STP only. Milksock3 says, mmm, Tupperware. Tupperware? It, like the um, plastic tubs that you- It says Tupper you... Wave. No, it doesn't. No, it, it, says, it clearly says Tupperware. Tupper Wave isn't even a thing. What do you... Tupper uh, Wave is, uh, is like the new Vapor Wave, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's like uh, it's like it's like yeah. Carlson, <laughs> he made his own genre of music. Um, Russian Gabe says, "So no one has the Zaza frown Damn. emoji." Francesca with an exclamation point says, "A panda say, uh oh, you found the toothpaste." Let's Mika. Oh, Mika. Oh, Mika. I, I think I'm impression. supposed to say it, Mika, all by myself. Okay, what? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. That's no, fine. No, you, no, no. This I, person, no, no, paid, no, this person paid a lot of money. No, no, you you panic, should do this. You need to read it. Yeah. Uh oh. You found the toothpaste. <laughs> Let's get one thing clear. I can brush my teeth all by myself. Okay. Wow. Nice. Russian Gabe says so. No one has the Zaza. We we did that. I, <laughs> yeah. You guys are saying it wrong. It's Zaza. <laughs> no so one says, has mm, the Zaza. <laughs> My my gooch is a scratch and sniff Your what? skin sticker. It's the it's his name. No, right. dude. His, we gotta stop this not. section. We gotta really shut this shit down. Guys, because, oh my god, this is the last time we're doing terrible. Patreon comments to he, read. He, it might be. It might be. He, he said Jesus was gay. Changed my mind. Uh, Midas Overwatch Two says, <laughs> "Can any member say follow Midas O W Two O T K Fan Cam H Three I Did It T W H three I D I T W T and Milksock three on Twitter. We pay no. you. You owe us this. <laughs> I'm no. not following you, man. I'm just not. But hey, uh, thanks. thanks, thanks everybody. Thanks, thanks guys. Wallets. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, wallets. <laughs> Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey.